Oh, she, she was a wonderful lady, and it's so marvellous to have met her um, at a critical stage in her work, which eventually led to a Nobel Prize. Um, she worked very much, she was very much alone, lonely, lone on her own, uh, worked on her own very much, and didn't necessarily appreciate everybody else, can we put it that way. Uh, but she was very kind and good to the young students like myself. And I remember one of the earliest experiences I had was one Sunday, I, I think it was a Sunday, that Walter Philometer and, um, oh, and Ozeki, Haro Ozeki and I, we were just about, and she said, would you like to come and see what I'm doing? And she took us down to look at her plants, to try and understand as best. She wasn't, she was trying to formulate some n new concepts in the terms of physical movement of genes in, in between different genomes. And uh, that was really, we, we began to get a glimmer of what it was. But also, we had the full works in how, how dreadful the floods were in destroying her field crops and how getting rid of birds was a problem and all of this. But I just remember that as being quite, um, quite an interesting uh, experience to have that contact with her. Okay, it's 